right, so hey everyone, it's Drew again from Animal Adventures. Um, we don't have any customers right now, but we still want to do one of these Facebook Live shows for all you guys. Um, so feel free to tune in, check out all the animals I have. I'm going to do a special show with just two animals here. Um, and any questions, totally pop them up on the screen and Chris will ask me them for you. Um, yeah, and let's see, before I go on to the animals, just a few updates. Um, we are still open for business, so totally come on down. We're um, doing a lot of private tours and extreme tours that you can book online or give us a call, we'll book them for you. Um, and those are um, offered throughout the day, but we can do, if you have a certain time you want to do, just let us know, we can probably make it work for you. Um, and then we are still selling those gift certificates too, so if you buy one of those, you can purchase it now and then use it any time down the line in the future. So if you want to come later on in the summer, or um, May, or next winter, or whatever you want to come, we'll totally love to have you um, then. So let me tell you about the first animal today. This is a pretty cute one. Alright. So this one here is definitely a fan favorite. This is Chewbacca, um, and Chewbacca is a lion head bunny. So super cute, pretty fitting name, very, very fluffy, and has that perfect coloration that Chewbacca does. Um, and lion head bunnies are a type of bunny that are very, very popular as pets, but you don't see them in the wild. They're specially bred to be like this. So um, the main reasons they were bred is one, to be pets. People wanted them because they're pretty, uh, nice, good size. They're very, very cute. Um, so it works out great for that. Um, the main reason too is that they're used for their fur and luckily for bunnies you do not have to hurt them for their fur It's just like a sheep you will shear them right down And then you get all that really really soft wool and fur that you can use to make um, like scarves or uh, Blankets anything else you want to use um, And it's pretty awesome to have uh, and these guys are very common So a lot of times you'll see them kind of like this color or we have another one. That's all white uh, That's an albino one um, or even black all different colors you can and bunnies, one of the reasons I picked a bunny today is because a little fun fact for the kids, they are kind of gross. Um, so bunnies do eat their own poop, which is a pretty nasty feature for them, um, but it's actually really important for the rabbits. So what they do is they poop two different times. The first time they go to the bathroom, it comes out more like liquidy and it's full of all the nutrients they didn't digest that first time. Um, and then the second time, they have those cocoa puffs that come out. So they're those dry little uh, pellets, they don't eat those again. So only the liquidy poop is what they're going to snack on. Um, it gives them lots of extra nutrients and health benefits that they would have missed out on otherwise. Um, similar to like a, a cow will chew its cud, it's just chewing up all that extra stuff. Um, and if any of you do like going on hikes in the woods, a good thing to look for is that slimy poop. So if you ever stumble upon it and you're wondering, there's no bunny around, but I do see this poop, it shows you that something scared the bunny off before it got a chance to finish eating. Because uh, they always eat that. The only time they don't is if they're absolutely terrified and they have to run away. So if you do look above you, you might see an owl up in a tree or another bird of prey, or even there could be a coyote pretty close to. So it's a really good warning sign. People just don't look for it. It's a really great uh, trail marker for you. Um, so I'll show you real close again. This is Chewbacca before I move on to our next friend. Awesome, super cute. All right, so for the next one, I do have some treats and stuff for her. She's pretty spoiled. Give me one second, I'll get her up. This girl here I'll be putting up on the table. <clears throat> Alright, so this one here, this is Buffy, and Buffy is a Kawadi. So Kawadis are super awesome animals. They are members of the raccoon family. I'm gonna grab her a grape really quick. Are you hungry? Um, so they are members of the raccoon family, but a big difference between the kawadis and raccoons is when they are active during the day. So uh, kawadis here, they are diurnal, meaning they're awake during the day, while raccoons are much more nocturnal, so awake at nighttime. Um, and these ones you're going to find mostly in Central and South America, um, but you can also find them in some places down south in North America as well. In Texas, sometimes um, kawadis will make an appearance too. Um, and they are really awesome animals. And see that snout, she has a very long extended nose. 
they have an excellent, excellent sense of smell. And she loves her grapes and avocados. I keep giving her some more snacks. Um, but with that smell, if these guys here smell something that they really like, it might be something gross too. So they do smell poop a lot or um, nice stuff too, like flowers or other highly scented um, things around them. They will spit all over that smell. And then they rub it on their tail like a perfume. And when they run through the forest or the jungles, they will trace that smell all around and then they can um, trace the way back. So it's like having a natural tracker for them. Um, you can jump it down the foot's up here, dude. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. All right, so they can run all around and find that um, uh, scent back for them. Um, so it's really helpful. And they have great memories too. So when we clean these guys, they're always all over us. They love attention and love to be right near the handlers here. Um, but we do have to make sure that we don't step on their tail or anything. We don't want to do that for any animal, but for coatis, it's extra important because they do hold a grudge. If you hurt a kawadi by accident or anything happens, then they will not like you too much after that, um, and they'll totally remember who you are and who did that to them. So I also have a perfume sample here. So this is from a magazine, and these are always great. So if you do have any magazines at home with these perfume samples that you don't want, totally bring them in. We'd love to have them. So I'm gonna put that down, and you're gonna watch what she does with that smell. See, that's pretty instantaneous. So they will lick that scent, and then they get it all over their tongue and on their nose and snout. And then she will rub it on her tail. That's why she's kind of sitting down in that squatted position right now as she um, shimmies all around away from the camera. So you can imagine if this was a flower or even like a fruit um, that she found and then she ran, uh, ran away, she'd be able to follow her scent trail right back to where she came from inside her family group. Um, and a lot of people have probably heard of Kawada Mundi, but not necessarily just Kawadi. They are the same animal, but the biggest difference is that a Kawada Mundi is a male Kawadi. So it means lone male Kawadi. Because after a few years of living with the females, the males are cast out of the society and they live more solitary lives until they find another group of female Kawadis that they will mate with and eventually be kicked out again. So uh, it's a little unfortunate for them, but that's kind of the life that they have to deal with. Cool. Let's see, you liking that buffy? Is that a good scent? Awesome. All right, so this is it for this show here. Um, and remember, we do have that GoFundMe still active, so totally, if you are willing to help us out, we love that. Um, it's really been amazing so far. We've been blown away with all the support that we have gotten. Um, and if you want to come on by, we'd love to have you. And Buffy would love to check you out too when she's done with this uh, perfume sample. She'll totally come right up to our enclosure and she loves to sniff people and say hi. Um, so again, my name is Drew. Thank you all for watching. Um, and we'll be doing this every day, probably just at one o'clock now, but we're gonna be looking up for some different options too. So stay tuned for that. Um, we'll have all different um, show options that are gonna be happening. Um, so thank you all.